This is part 2 of the 6th episode of Brian Wildcat's Wrestling Stars of the 2000s. The rivalry between John Cena and Edge would unite since Edge cashes the money in the bank briefcase on a beaten and battered John Cena to take the WWE Championship from him at New Year's Revolution. Cena would crash Edge's live sex celebration and Edge would attack Cena meanwhile John is taking the Master Lock Challenge to build up their battle at Royal Rumble 2006. John Cena arrives via spaceship at Royal Rumble to regain the WWE Championship from Edge. This makes Edge mad when he became the transitional champion after the event. Outside of their rivalry towards WrestleMania 22, John Cena continues to be a fighting champion and has to meet the very best of this industry. This is the WrestleMania John Cena meets the King of Kings. Triple H made his King of Kings entrance, as one of the greatest and coolest entrances in WWE and WrestleMania history. The Chicago crowd hates John Cena, even though Cena made his Chicago Tommy Gun entrance and wanted to see Triple H kick Senna's butt and become the 11th time WWE Champion. Both men tear the house down at the grandest stage of them all, for the WWE title, and Triple H is the MVP of the match and the main event. He mocks Senna and does the DX crouch chop to tease the reunion of DX, and grabs a sledgehammer and bang, he hits the sledgehammer on Senna. But John Senna has every power to make Triple H tap out in the grandest stage of them all with the STF to retain the WWE Championship. Despite the win against Triple H, John Cena got booed. It's been nearly a month after WrestleMania 22. Triple H still wants the championship, but Edge resumes his feud with John Cena and also wants the championship. Now, John Cena has two challengers in a triple threat match for the WWE Championship at Backlash. This match was a one human bloodbath and all three men stole the show for the richest prize in sports entertainment today. Like I said in the previous video, if you miss wrestling matches like these, you better check them out and enjoy the nostalgia. The triple threat match really defines the 2000s decade. But after the bout, Triple H attacked John Cena, edging the referee with a sledgehammer and stands tall. People been wondering when would Rob Van Dam cash in the money in the bank briefcase? So he decided to cash it in at IUCW pay-per-view and took John Cena to the extreme. John Cena got booed so loudly, the ECW universe beginning to give him thumbs down and middle fingers, chanting same old shit and F you Cena, throwing his t-shirt back at Cena because they don't want to wear that shit. They even had the iconic if Cena wins, we riot, sign. ECW really hates John Cena, and I could only remember like it was yesterday, and I love every bit of it. If those of you were Senna fans, don't listen to the negatives from the ECW universe, because if your WWE hero win, other wrestling fans riot. RVD really took Senna to the extreme, but John Senna is the final boss of the show. ECW made John Senna look like the final boss. This match is a real life video game and John Senna dominated RVD and looked like the final boss. Ask The Rock, what's it like to be called the final boss? John Cena got some extreme of his own, but a random guy wearing a motorcycle helmet, spears John Cena onto the table and out's edge. Rob Van Dam hits the frog splash on John Cena and Paul Heyman arrives and counts three, and Rob Van Dam became the new WWE Champion. No wait, the ECW Champion I mean. John Cena resumes his rivalry with Edge and Edge made this rivalry personal and heated. He even bitch slap his father in his house. Their built up towards their match at SummerSlam lives up the hype. At SummerSlam, John Cena had mixed reactions in his home state of Massachusetts in his match with Edge. Some of the fans cheered for Edge and most of the fans don't know who to cheer for. In the end, Lita gives Edge the Brasnooks. John Cena was about to give both Edge and Lita the double A, but it actually turns into a one person A. And Edge slips out and hit John in the back of the head with the brass knuckles and retains the WWE title in front of Senna's home state of Massachusetts, ending the era of John Senna to welcome all of you, the era of Rated R, and presents his own WWE Championship belt. However, John Senna crashed the party and attacked Edge and sent him to the Long Island Sound. But if my memory serves me correctly, 
Jeff Hardy returns and crush the party edge has after SummerSlam. WWE Unforgiven 2006 is Edge's territory and Edge's hometown in his match. Toronto fans are behind Edge and wanted to see Senna lose, and send him packing to SmackDown, just like Edge sent Matt Hardy packing to SmackDown in 2005 after Raw Homecoming. You people miss those wrestling days don't you? Edge and John Senna tear the house down with tables, ladders, and chairs. Talk about your favorite versus your most hated and the hometown Toronto fans cheers for the most hated. In the end, John Senna gives Edge the FU off the top of the 20-foot ladder and through two tables is an anime ending to capture his third WWE Championship to have one of the best WWE title reigns of the 21st century. John Senna's first half of his 380-day WWE title reign in 2006 did not go well because of weak matches and awful feud with Kevin Federline. See those are why 2006 and 2007 are the worst years in professional wrestling history, except TNA. But... John Senna had a forgotten feud with Umega from November 2006 to January 2007. Look at Umega. He's a dangerous, Samoan savage. He would slam your head with his rear end and spike you with his thumb. He was undefeated from April 2006 through January 2007, until New Year's Revolution, where he brutalized and dominate John Senna and Senna rolls up Umega via pinfall to retain the WWE title, which gives Umega his first loss. Three weeks later in the month, John Senna was beaten and damaged since Umega splashes Senna through a table on Raw before Royal Rumble. With injured ribs, Senna defends his title against Umega in the last man standing match, John Senna made Umega look good in this matchup. Many of you people consider this match to be one of the greatest last man standing matches in professional wrestling history. Just like New Year's Revolution, Umega dominating and injured John Senna, until John Senna strikes back. This one had to be one of John Senna's most underrated matches of his career. He was choking out the life out of Umega with a turnbuckle rope with the STF locked in. The crowd was roaring, Umega looks like he passed out, the referee counts 10, and Senna slays the monster and retains the WWE title once again and became the last man standing. Comment down below, do you think John Senna would be great in anime? WrestleMania is back at the stadium since 2003 with 80,147 in attendance. Despite Shawn Michaels failing to win the 2007 Royal Rumble match, Shawn actually found a way to give a shot at John Cena's WWE Championship at WrestleMania 23. While Shawn and Cena having a feud over the WWE title, they had to team against other WrestleMania competitors, World Heavyweight Champion Batista and The Undertaker at No Way Out to build up their match at WrestleMania, even as tag team champions. Now, we're in an actual show, John Cena and Shawn Michaels face off to start this bout, Shawn offers a handshake to John, and John says no, and HBK slaps Cena, which pisses John off. Shawn dominated the advantage of the bout with moonsaults, working on Cena's knee, hits the pile driver on the steel stairs, but John would strike back. Oh let's not forget, John Cena made his WrestleMania entrance driving a Ford to crash into the WrestleMania glass wall. Both men tear the house down in the main event of the show and Sean accidentally hit the referee with a super kick. It was a very physical contest between two men. John Cena locks Sean in the STF and made him tap out to retain his title. An emotional John Cena retains the WWE Championship and after the match and when the event is off air, John Cena offers a handshake to Sean Michaels and this time, Sean refuses. In the comment down below, Will we see a part 3 of the 6th episode of Brian Wildcat's Wrestling Stars of the 2000s with John Cena? We'll find out on Brian Wildcat's Wrestling Stars of the 2000s. See you in another video.